frozen fish might just be the freshest, smartest option. Now, when I say frozen fish, I'm not thinking fish sticks like from my childhood. I'm thinking uncooked seafood that you buy frozen and then defrost at home. Let me explain. With the exception of any locally caught fish, almost all of the seafood that we buy is frozen on the ship. And so my point is, rather than allowing someone else to thaw it on their timetable, why don't you buy it frozen yourself and thaw it when you need it? So there are some things to keep in mind. First off, I want you buying fish that you can see. So this bag has a nice clear window that allows me to see inside that there is no freezer burn. I've got tilapia here. It's actually vacuum packed. So it's really in very nice shape and freezer burn it's a sign that somebody wasn't nice to the fish at some point or other and let it get too warm and then it chilled down again. And freezer burn is really the liquid that came out of the fish and then refroze. So the problem with that is it's going to be really dry when you cook it because the fish has been damaged during its freezing time. So always, always look for a clear window so you can see what's going on inside the package. The second thing I want you to remember is the thinner fish are going to freeze better. So I've got tilapia here. Flounder, that's another good choice. Sole, uh, even salmon can be okay, but really thick swordfish and tuna, not so much. And honestly, it's because those thick fish just don't withstand the freezing process very well. Make sure you see the window and choose thinner fish. Now, in terms of defrosting, there are two options. The plan ahead option, which is take out exactly what you need. Let's say you need three pieces of tilapia, put them in the fridge the night before or even that morning. This is very thin, it's gonna defrost pretty quickly. If you don't plan ahead, you can just put these right into a bowl of cold water, run the tap over it, 20, maybe 30 minutes, it'll be defrosted, ready to go. Don't do this in the microwave because it's gonna lose a lot of its moisture. So please don't ever defrost your seafood in the microwave. Now in terms of the, the world of shellfish, four good options, shrimp, lobster tails, that's always a good option, octopus and squid. Now you're gonna be mostly buying shrimp. Two things I want you to be thinking about. One is IQF. So individually quick frozen. See, those are nice and frozen. And the reason why you want this rather than a big block is you can take out as many as you want. You can cook four, eight, 12 shrimp, whatever it is that you need. If you buy a big block, you've got to defrost the whole block and then you've got to cook it. Second thing is I want you to make sure you buy it with the shell on. I know easy peel sounds so convenient, but they've beaten up the shrimp to remove the shell and that's not going to make a really good product. It's gonna end up cooking up dry. Last thing is I want you reading. You're gonna may need to put on your glasses. I'm gonna bend down low and read in the ingredient list. This one says shrimp. That's a good thing. If it says salt, that's neither here nor there. It doesn't really need it, but doesn't hurt. What you wanna make sure is you don't see sodium tripolyphosphate. It's added to shrimp sometimes to prevent it from darkening, but it gives it a really sort of off flavor. And we don't like that in the test kitchen. I don't like it in my house and I don't think you're gonna like it in your house. So frozen fish, frozen shrimp, not only high quality options, they're really convenient because they're in your freezer ready to cook when you need them. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.